Earth, Fire, Wind, Water, Heart, by your powers combined, I am Captain Planet. Hello, today we are going to review the Bane Build-A-Figure from Todd McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line. But before we continue, hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when new reviews are uploaded. Here are the figures you need to complete the Bane figure. You have the Wonder Woman, Scarecrow, Batman, and Omega. And then you have Bane. So let's take a look at Bane. So here's the front. See the details on the belt, the wife beater shirt, the arms, the hands. This is the part that I really like, the details on the pants. The boots, great detailing, great scope. Back. So this is the hole where you insert the peg of Scarecrow so you can do the pose that is found in the comic book. Detail again. This is a magnificent scope. He also has this belt. Okay. Armbands, gloves, head. Look at the details on the musculature of Bane. Well done. This is a great looking figure. Let's look at the articulation. So the head can move this way. You have the arms. Oops. So the hands tend to pop off. Okay. So you can turn the hands, but there's a tendency for it to pop off. With the elbows, okay. So you can move the elbows. Again, you have the hand popping off. So this might be a turn off for a lot of collectors. Okay. With the torso, okay. So you have that movement. With the legs, okay. Okay. you can turn them around but you can't really move them forward because they will pop off. There's no forward movement to the leg. The best that you can do, uh, this is what will happen if you try to move it. So it pop off again. So now, I can't put it in pop off oh, so you have to be really careful with the feet you have some articulation with the toes the ankles can also be moved but you have to be careful careful with the ankles guys with the knee you can also bend it but again there's a tendency for the leg to pop off if you're not careful okay so this is a big minus point for the figure you really can't pose it it's more of a brick it looks good but it can't move well now let's attach the scarecrow figure so there's this hole as you can see there's the hole 
then you place this one place it this way so it's as if <laughs> you have the scarecrow doing something bad to Bane and then there you have it so this is Bane with the scarecrow it looks great it looks imposing but I guess that is all there is to the figure it can only look good but when it comes to playability, you might have problems with all sorts of parts popping off. So what's good about the figure? Well, the presence of this figure is astounding. It really commands attention with its bulk and design. The sculpt is very detailed. This is a very good looking figure. And being able to attach the scarecrow like a backpack is an added bonus that makes the figure more imposing and sometimes even creepier. The figure is also stable. You won't need a stand. What's bad? Assembly might be a problem since not all parts fit well. They tend to pop off. The leg articulation will be a problem since the movement is limited, so posing the figure will also be limited. Now, is the figure worth getting? Since you need to buy four figures, you really have to think well whether you should buy this. I think it is worth a gamble. Take note, I use the word gamble because there have been horror stories about this figure from other collectors. I think I got lucky that I didn't encounter some of the problems mentioned in other reviews. In my case, I got what I wanted but to be honest with this main figure, it is more of a roll of a dice. So that is all for the Bane figure. This has been Kulas for Tambay Reviews. Thank you for watching. Keep on playing.